The surface of the Earth has its own distinct features. At the bottom of the ocean, there are broad, symmetrical ridges two to three kilometers higher than the average depth of the seafloor, called mid-ocean ridges. The East Pacific rise crosses the Pacific and heads towards North America. At the western edge of South America, we see a deep oceanic trench called the Peru-Chile Trench, flanked by a mountain range on the coast. These are the Andes Mountains, the world's longest mountain range on land at 7,000 kilometers in length. On the east coast is the Atlantic Forest. This is a flat area of land called a coastal plain, a low, smooth area adjacent to a sea coast that is separated from the rest of the continent by other features. At the Gulf of Mexico, we can see that the water near the coast is much shallower than in the middle of the Gulf. The continent actually continues out from the coast under the water for several kilometers until it drops off. This submerged bench is known as the continental shelf, the true boundary between continental and oceanic crust. The seawaters have eroded the edge of the continent and risen above it, creating the visible coastlines. The Gulf is surrounded by the Gulf Coastal Plains, which follow the Mississippi River northward to the Ohio River about 800 kilometers. This continent is bordered on both sides by mountain ranges. Mountain ranges don't always occur at the edges of continents. The Ural Mountains of western Russia and the Himalaya Range at the northern edge of India are good examples. The Himalayas boast the tallest mountains on Earth, Mount Everest, at 8.8 .8 kilometers from sea level. Altitudes higher than 8 kilometers do not have enough oxygen in the atmosphere to sustain human life. We mentioned that the Andes Mountains are the longest mountain range on land, but the longest range on Earth is actually below the Atlantic Ocean. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge is 10,000 kilometers long and connects with other mid-ocean ridges that encircle the globe at the base of every ocean, with the total length of 80,000 kilometers. The island of Iceland is actually part of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge that is extended above sea level.